Hey, this is Flo, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can implement pull to refresh in just a single line of code in SwiftUI 3 for iOS 15 using the latest Xcode beta. Right now you can only download this version of Xcode from the developer website if you have a developer account, but in a few months everyone will be able to install this once the new macOS version is released. Okay, so to get started let's just build a very tiny framework. Let's add a list here and inside of the list let's add a for each of let's say 50 items and let's grab that number in here and then let's just do something very simple and let's just say the number is number just like this as you can see now we will have 50 items in our list all right let's embed the list in a navigation view so let's say embed navigation view and then let's also add a navigation title of pull to refresh all right now it is incredibly easy to add this feature you just in your list or at the end of your list add the refreshable modifier and in this closure you can execute code once the user pulls to refresh to visualize this a bit let's just add a state var refresh let's set it to false initially and in the beginning of our list let's just add a text label and um, yeah let's just put refreshed in there if it's refreshed then let's say refreshed and otherwise let's say not refreshed okay and then in refreshable here in the closure we can just say refreshed is true now if we resume the preview you can already see this working it's incredibly easy okay now as you can see in the beginning the text label says not refreshed and now we can pull to refresh and the text changed to refresh because that's the code that we're executing in the closure here in a real world example you would for example make an api call to see if there's any new chat messages or whatever the data is that you're dealing with but pull to refresh was never easier to implement that's how you do it that's it for this video if you enjoyed it please leave a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one